The Windows 7 language pack allows you to change the interface of the language of your operating system. So if you work in one country and use that language, but the business is in another country, you can go ahead and switch back and forth between the two languages here in Windows 7. And also know that the Windows 7 language pack is only available for Windows 7 Ultimate and Enterprise. To install a language pack on your computer, basically it's going to go through the updates. So to be able to go to the Windows 7 updates, come down here and click on the Start button. Go to the Control Panel. Come up here and click on System and Security. And then click here, Windows Update. Wow, I got quite a few updates here. The language pack is going to be listed under the optional updates. Click on that. Get a list here. Of course, you can toggle back and forth between the two here. And here they all are the 34 language packs. So go ahead and check the languages that you would like to install. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and choose Spanish. Now you ought to know that if too many language packs are installed, it'll affect the disk space and system performance. Well, more specifically, the disk space and system performance are affected during servicing operations, such as service pack installations or updating. So it's recommended that you only add a language pack to your computer if you're going to use it. Go ahead and check it. Click OK. Go ahead and install the uh, optional update. Of course, it automatically picked the other 14. If I don't want to install that now, I'll go ahead and uncheck all that and click OK. So it's just the one. Click Install Updates and then go ahead and wait it out. Now during this installation, you don't want to shut down your computer. Just go ahead and, like I said, if you close out of here and you want to work on other things, and you want to check up on it to see if it's installed yet, come down here and click on the arrow, go to the uh, update icon here. You can see it's 3% complete. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it up. Then let it go ahead and install once it's finished downloading. Now, after the installation of the language pack, you can change the interface language of Windows 7. Let me go ahead and close out of this. By clicking on the Start button and in the Instant Search, Click on Change Display Language. There it is right there. Click on Change Display Language. Opens up a window. And on the Keyboards and Languages tab, come down here and it says Choose a Display Language. It's English. Click on the drop down arrow. Now it's going to be Espanol. After I select it, I can go ahead and click OK or click Apply. And in order for this to work, I have to log off and log back on. And after I log back on, this is what it looks like. Instead of computer, I got Equipo, if I'm saying it right in Spanish, and then Network, double-click on the computer, Disco, Loco, well, however you say some of these things in Spanish. In any case, you can see the navigation pane, it's all updated. Even the command bar is in Spanish. Now, to be able to switch this back into English, it's not going to work for me if I come down here and click on the Start button and type in, in English, the Change Display Language. So the other way to get to it is, if you want to follow this, click on the Start button, go to the Control Panel, and I believe that's Spanish for Control Panel, click on it, and then go to the Clock, Language, and Region, and basically if I just look at the Clock and the Region, that ought to be it, click on the uh, link here, the Heading link, and then next click on Regional and Language Options, which again, there's the Clock Region, I'll click on the Options here, and it opens up a familiar screen, although it's in Spanish, and I want to go to the Keyboard and Languages tab, which is the third tab, if you recall, not too long ago when we were in English. And then down here, change it to English, and click Apply, or Okie Dokie. And then I've got to log off again, and I guess that's what it is in Spanish. And then I'll be back to English again. And then finally, if you want to be able to uninstall the language packs that you installed, Go down and click on the Start button. Go to the Control Panel. Basically, you're going back to the same place where you went to switch from, well, in this training video, from English to Spanish. Come over here, click on Clock, Language, and Region, and then click on Region and Language. Go to the Keyboards and Language tab, and then come down here and click on Install, Uninstall Languages. Go ahead and uninstall. Check the box, and then go ahead and follow the wizard, and that should uninstall it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.